I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. So question five over here. Uh, we says determine the moment of inertia of the shaded area about the x-axis. So that means we're going to times the y square. Um, we're not going to flip the strip this time. We're going to continue uh, using this one. Going uh, using the vertical uh, rectangular forms. So every time when the centroid and the area that we're trying to find is not coincide, right? So we're using the eyeball method, right? So we're looking at, we're doing from the x-axis, so we're looking at this way. So we're looking at this way, what is the centroid of this um, shape over here? It's in the middle, right? Because if we're looking at this way, since we're doing x-axis like before, then it would be just be right in the center because this is infinitely small, dx, right? But, you know, that's only for y-axis. For x-axis, you know, it's the half of this entire thing. So we're going to have to use the uh, parallel uh, axis theorem. So that would be uh, equals to dxl dix uh, equals the half 12 times base times space times height cubic. So base is uh, dx and height is y to the power of 3 uh, plus the uh, the area um, sorry area times distance squared right and um, area is y times a dx and the distance uh, is here to here which is y squared. I mean, sorry, from the central times the distance from of the centroid of the shape to the x-axis, right? So that would be uh, y over two, and this whole thing is squared. Okay, and it's it's a handful. I mean, I can't really you know give you a lesson on this. It's just uh, some equations you got to measure. Uh, initially, it looks like this, right? Um, v h three. This is for x-axis uh, plus the a d uh, cubic right ad's ad square the best according to dr jeff hansen is the best when when is the best music produced ad squared anyway that's one of the way how I, he taught me that's how i memorize it and this is just sort of like a um thing you gotta remember this is for for doing x and for doing y is h cubic right this is for y this is for x but anyway uh, let's continue so uh, continue and simplify 12 um, y cubic dx plus this is um, y cubic times 1 over 4 dx everything is same so we can plug each other with these number at the front so this is uh, 3 over 12 plus 1, 4 over 12, 1 over 4, y cubic dx, right? But we, we're doing dx, so we have to, you know, do y, uh, say y in terms of x, right? So what is y? y equals x to the power of 1 over 2. So that would be uh, x to the power of 3 over 2, because this is there's a cubic here, dx equals 1 over 4. And... Um, Oh, sorry, 1 over 3. 1 over 3 over here. I just realized. Yeah. Right, 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Yes, my brain is still functioning. Uh, dx. I. Right? Divided by dx, so d, d, dx, right, of i, y, which is i, x equals this whole thing, is 1 over 3, x. To the power of 3 over 2 and we're finding the calculus of this I mean integral of this uh, 1 over 3 you can come out over here 3 over 2 from 0 to 1 right from 0 to 1 and that should gives me I think I can don't need to write this again uh, times x 
to the power of 5 over 2, 2 over 5, uh, 1, 0, right? That would be 1 times 2, 2, 2 over 15. And that should be the moment of inertia uh, around the x-axis. All right, hopefully this question was helpful. And uh, yeah, it requires you to use the parallel axis theorem. And um, it's a little abstract. Um, can't really find any good videos to explain this. Uh, Dr. Jeff Hansen didn't really explain it. But um, anyway, just do it through practice, right? I'm, you know, when I was taking this exam, I did like, I don't know, 20 some problems. Just on this, just, you know, eventually you figure out the pattern and just sort of memorize it. It will make more sense when you're going to solids um, because you actually start to use it and, you know, understanding what it means in real life. Anyway, hopefully uh, this video was helpful. Good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.